Yeah, you know, it's a beautiful start to the day and we're going to have a really nice day again. Lots of sunshine. It'll be mild. The wind will be light. If you enjoyed yesterday's weather, you'll enjoy what we've got coming today as well. Look at this day planner full sunshine. We've got a couple of high clouds early this morning. Those are going to move away pretty quick by 11 a.m. It'll already be 73. We climb to the upper 70s and low 80s later on today by 5 p.m. We will be at 80 the high today in Des Moines about 81. We will climb to 80 in Grinnell, Ames, Creston, Lamoni and Carroll. Ottumwa climbs to 81, so a tad warmer than yesterday, but almost exactly identical. Then we start to see the changes as we go into the weekend. Scattered storms in the forecast tomorrow and some rain in northern Iowa in the morning. We'll make sense of this in just a minute on Sunday. We will have another chance of scattered storms and where those set up is really dependent on exactly where the front that we have coming in our area stalls over the state. Let's go through future cast. Try to iron out these details so we will see sunshine all day today. I've got this paused around 5 p.m. No problems there. Let's go to this evening. That's when a few showers may be very weak thunderstorms fire up over western Iowa. This is paused around 9 p.m. That'll be over the western part of the state. After the sun goes down, once a lot of us go to bed, that's when a little rain will move into central Iowa. This is midnight when it's west and northwest of Des Moines passes over central Iowa during the overnight hours, and then we will see that rain moving into northeast Iowa by early tomorrow morning around 7 a.m. We will see a dry start to the day for most of us in central Iowa, but then a few more showers develop west and north as we go towards the late morning and middle part of the day. This is paused around 2 p.m. tomorrow when isolated downpours will move through, and then there will be a little bit better chance of rain late tomorrow night. This is around 10 o'clock, and that'll move through during the overnight hours, continue through Sunday morning. This is Sunday at 6 a.m. And then we will see additional redevelopment come Sunday afternoon and evening. I think the highest likelihood for that will be in southern and eastern Iowa. I know that's a lot to keep track of. Just know it'll be scattered, very hit or miss. It's a weekend where you want to have our We Are Iowa app so you can always check that radar. During the day tomorrow, highest rain chance about 30% late tomorrow night. That chance will go up. We do have that dam to DSM run early tomorrow morning where everybody goes from Sailorville Dam to downtown Des Moines. Temperatures will be in the 60s. There may be a raindrop or two, but I do think for the most part that run will be dry. A look at our whole plumbing and heating 10 day forecast shows still dealing with rain chances early on Monday. The high there drops to 72. Tuesday looks like a fairly dry day and then we could deal with more rain come Wednesday and Friday of next week and temperatures will stay in the 70s all week. So the first half of June winding up being a little bit on the cooler side. I've already looked ahead to the middle of June. Oh yeah, it'll start to warm up. Don't worry. All right. Well, you you said yesterday and this morning. Don't cancel those Saturday. Plans, no, though, don't right? because this is one of those scenarios where somebody's going to get some rain and then the yeah. neighbor down the street's going to say, "I didn't see any yeah. rain." Very hit or miss heading. I'm not canceling those crawfish plants. I was going to say we're oh, no, going to be hanging out at I'll great events, so you should listen, come out and hang out with us. I would eat crawfish in the pouring rain. <laughs> <laughs>